Hey there guys and welcome back to your ninth video tutorial on SQL injection. Now in this video we're going to take a look at the limit clause in an SQL query and how limit can be useful on a web page where we want to do a union attack but only one result is being output to the page like we saw in the last tutorial. Uh, so let's jump right into that. So something that a lot of people don't realize is that in SQL the limit clause can actually be used in two ways. Uh, most people only realize that it can be used in the first way, uh, but the second way is definitely a lot more useful for SQL injection. So the first way that you can use a limit clause would be to create your statement. In this case I'm just going to create a simple SQL injection union statement which we're used to. Uh, we're going to use union all, and we're going to select 1, 2, 3, and 4, but we're going to limit this to 1. Uh, so this limit 1 right here. This pretty much means that only one result or only one row can be returned from this uh, SQL query. Once one row has been found in the database, it returns that row from the query and then the query ends. There's nothing else is found, it just ends right there. Uh, you could use limit 2 to make sure that only two rows are found and then those two rows are returned and then the query just ends. You can use limit 3 and so on you can just limit the number of rows that are returned from your query. But the thing that not a lot of people realize is that you can also use limit like this. Uh, you can use limit and then you can input a number like uh, let's say two and then a comma and then another number. And this is slightly different. Uh, what this limit uh, clause is doing right here is it's limited, limiting it to one row being returned but this 2 right here is actually setting the offset for where we want to start finding the rows in the database. Uh, so if we say limit 2, it's going to start at the very bottom of the database and it's going to go 2 rows down and then it's going to start searching for our uh, select query right here. Uh, but again it's only limited it to one actual row being returned from the query itself. So how can this be used in SQL injection? Uh, well, if we jump over into our find user page, we can take a look at that right now. So in our find a user page, I'm going to demonstrate how the limit clause is actually very useful in an SQL injection environment. Uh, if we try a simple uh, union all and select the username and the password from the every user in the users table, like we have done in the previous tutorials, and submit this, you'll see that the, we're, despite the fact that we're asking the database to return all of the users, we're actually only getting one user output to the screen. This is where limit is very useful, mostly because of its offset argument. Uh, if we try that query again, and union all select one username, three and password from users, but append a limit clause onto the end of the statement, uh, we can limit it with an offset of 1 and an actual limit on the number of rows returned we're going to keep at 1. So what this is going to do is it's going to tell uh, the SQL database hey, instead of starting at row 0 like you would usually do which would be the very first row in the table uh, start at row 1 which because uh, SQL databases like most software starts uh, numbering at 0 uh, if you limit to 1 as your first argument, uh, this will actually make it the second row in the table. So then limiting 2 will make it the third row in the table and so on. Uh, you can actually limit it to 0 as your offset here, which would just bring back uh, test 1 again. But if we union all select username and password from users and limit it to, let's say, we'll limit it to 3 and limit, to, limit the number of rows returned to 1, if we submit this uh, we get the username test4 and we get their password output. Uh, so using the limit method you can actually use kind of a trial and error approach and continue sorry about that, and continue uh, copying and pasting your injection script in. So let's try limit2 as our offset, it gives us username test3 and their password uh, limiting with an offset of 2 or sorry, limiting with an offset of 1 even, uh, will give us test 2 out and their password. So that's the main reason to use limit in your SQL injection scripts. 
uh, generally limit isn't uh, all that useful otherwise uh, it's just that simple offset that you can use where you don't actually have to use a where clause to select a specific uh, row in the table you can just use limit to keep incrementing down through each row and picking out your data like so uh, so that's all we're going to go through today guys and i'll see you in the next video thanks for watching